Hello guys, welcome back to some more Borderlands 2 Mr. Talks campaign of Carnage. In the last episode, we went into the arena and completed some training for Tiny Tina, which basically involved blowing up some cookie vending machines because they didn't have Tiny Tina's cookie preference. How about that for training? And this helps now, we're now in the Southern Raceway and we're now going to take on Motor Mama. Motor Mama is number 4, I believe, out of all the badasses on the tour ranking leaderboard. So if I take out Motor Mama, I'll make my way a bit further down the leaderboards. Let's create myself a car. Let's go find Moda Mama. Moda Mama, I'm coming for you. So I think this area is quite a big area, actually, to be fair. Or was it quite a big area? I can't remember now. I think there is quite a bit this area, but I think it doesn't take that long to get to the arena, though, to be fair, where Moda Mama's going to be. Where Moda Mama's literally waiting for us. Right, let's get inside. But how do I get in? Hang on. Is there like a door here or something? Wait, so... Oh, I've got it on the gate, have not? Of course I have. Yeah, of course I have. How could I forget? I'm too busy rushing here to find my tomorrow, but I've just completely forgot we have to turn on the gate power. No wonder I couldn't get in. Let's go turn on the gate. But I think when we get into the ring, I think we're going to have more than Motor Mama to do. We're going to have a few bandits in there to deal with some of Motor Mama's men. So where is the power going to be? It's going to be, uh... Actually, let's go this way. If I go this way, I might be able to find it. Probably going to be this way, isn't it, I think. Where the, the power is going to be for the gate. Ah! Okay, this is the way to go. Right, at least I'm going the right way now. Could get myself some ammo. I don't think I really need any... Okay, maybe I do need some ammo. Alright. Twist Talk thinks these were challenges. I took on Handsome Jack, which is a much bigger challenge than all of these. Although, to be fair, there are people around here that are more powerful than Handsome Jack, especially when we were in that bar fight a few episodes back. Surprised none of those people wanted to take Handsome Jack on. So, yeah, just I thought before we get to Motor Mama, we're going to have some of the men to deal with. So, the gate power is going to be around his arm. What's this? Another picture of Moxie? Yep, yeah, well, I'll take it. I'll definitely take that. Who doesn't want pictures of Moxie hung up in their bedroom? Okay, it should be two more bats. I think once we've taken out those two bandits, I think the switch is going to be up here, isn't it? The switch is going to be just up here. Ah. Okay, that is one big fella. Oh, he's a big one as well. Get out of here. Okay, so we're going to be taking out. Let's go find that power and let's make our way into the arena. There's going to be a little arena up ahead where Motor Mama is going to be waiting for us. And that's where we're going to fight Motor Mama. I've got to make sure I have plenty of ammo in that before we go take Motor Mama on. Make sure I've got plenty of ammo in this gun. Because this gun really is going to work like a tree, hopefully. I'll make sure the rocket launcher's got ammo as well. Starting to follow the power cables. Well, to be fair, I think if we look on the top right of the screen, I think it'll tell us where we need to go, where the power cable's going to end anyway. Ah, oh, it's just over here anyway, I think. I must say I'm really looking forward to our fight. I've been waiting to fight a real warrior, and having watched you in action, I truly believe that you will make me work hard before I ultimately kill you and devour your body. I can't wait. Let's go and meet up Motor Mama. She's looking very forward to this, and so am I. Boom bike. Let's take them out just like that. Right, I just need to follow the power cable. I think the power cable is going to be back where I was earlier, I think. Yeah, we'll just make our way to... Yeah, I think that's where we need to go, I think. vehicles. That's what attracted her to me in the first place. Oh, did I mention we dated for a while? Had to break it off when she devoured one of my other girlfriends alive. Nobody eats my lady friends but me. Oh, God. Too far. That was in bad taste. Mm. Vomited in my mouth a little bit. 
sorry. The, uh, the innuendo talk is a defense mechanism. If you want some sexual stories, Moxie is definitely the person who will give you plenty of sexual stories. I'd be quite intrigued to hear most of them actually, just know what Moxie's gotten up to over the years. So if I ended up meeting her in real life, what would I get myself into? Okay, that grenade went nowhere near far enough. Those enemies are a bit further away than I thought they'd be, so I ain't got a sniper, have I? Oh, right, it doesn't matter. I'll go up to them and take them out that way. So Motor Mama hopefully is just going to be up ahead somewhere. So I might stick with this weapon, I think. Yeah, this weapon does a nice amount of damage. I mean, shame there's no scope on this weapon, but it is what it is. Can't use this as a sniper rifle, though. Although, this is the weapon that will be close to your sniper rifle, and I can actually use it at short range as well. Another picture of Moxie. I'll take it. I could just wait for some of them to come to me, actually, because they really are open fire on me right now. But I'll shot grenade over to them. Definitely going to need more grenades before we take on Mona Mama. Got a mother in for mama's enforcer. Yeah, it's a big brute, all right. It's good job if I shoot them in the head, though, they, their heads don't pop off and turn to a raging enemy. At least they don't do that, these ones. It's more money, so I'm, hopefully I'll be like a vending machine before we get to Motor Mama. I think Motor Mama's just up ahead, actually. Ah, this is the entrance to her arena. So it looks like, yeah, here they are. Here are the ammo dumps. Let's quickly go buy myself some ammo. Could sell most of this stuff actually because I'm not going to use it. Hmm. Hang on. I like the look of that pistol to be fair. Uh, let's have a look here. I'll quite like look at that pistol so I might equip it. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's not quite a pistol I thought it would be. Alright. Oh, well, it looks like it does more damage so I may as well keep it. It's got a little scope on it as well actually. Yeah, I may as well keep it. So little stuff, I'm not going to need it. I'll keep a sniper, actually. I'll keep that sniper, just in case I may need it. In case I do need to switch to a sniper if I need to. A shield capacity, eh? So I'll keep that one as well. I think I may use that at some point as well. Right, I'm ready to go. All right, let's go meet up with Moda Mama. This is going to be fun. Okay, here we go. So this is where we're going to battle Moda Mama. Oh, I nearly forgot to mention. If you would like me to not eat you until after you were dead, I understand and respect your wishes. I will also completely ignore them. I'm so glad you could make it. I'm gonna kill you and make sandwiches out of your corpse. It's that time again! Motor Mama versus the Vault Hunter! Fight! Okay, here we go. Let's get the sentry out. Okay, so luckily my mum has got masses of health. If she's st well, she's going to drive around a bit, which is going to make her a bit difficult to hit. Yeah, he's, she's, she hasn't got loads and lots of health, thankfully. Simple Torg. Motor Mama may have a chip on her shoulder and a gut full of baby flesh, but my Vault Hunter survived a running with handsome Jack himself. Yes, I did. Now the words getting out that I'd be handsome Jack. Now everyone's beginning to realise how badass I really am. Let's just take out cooking. I'm sorry, Motor Mama. Just call her Cooking Mama for a second there. So you won't remember that game on Nintendo DS actually. Good game, Cooking Mama. I don't think I had this game on the DS for years ago, if I remember correctly. I think a friend of mine used to have it, and I think she played it quite a bit. But yeah, that, that's, that's not really the kind of game I play personally. Yeah, I remember that game from back in the day. I definitely remember the game. I don't remember much gameplay of it, though, to be fair. Hmm, I could do this. Maybe I could just use some rock and I'm going to need a faster weapon, aren't I? Yeah, this will do. This will be better, I think. This will be a better weapon to use against Motor Mama. Don't I know it? Nobody fights stronger or lasts longer than my 
No, he lasts longer than my Vault Hunter. To be fair, if I was in Ben Rocks, I probably wouldn't last very long with her, as I like her that much. Alright, okay, just a few more shots to go. Okay, she's almost run out of tail. Can I finish her off with the rocket launcher, maybe? Uh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? So close here. Yes, got her! Ah. Oh. Bye, Moda Mama. Oh, fuck. Come on, reload, reload. I need to take out that gunner before he fucks off. Bye! Okay, now I could use this weapon to finish her off. Shark grenade her as well. There we go. She's down. We've done it. Moda Mama is no more. Hey, sugar. Come on back when you're done over there. Yep, I'm done. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, let's make our way out of here. We've done what we need to do here. We're now number three on the leaderboards. When you go further up with leaderboards this game, it kind of reminds me when I play Need for Speed Most Wanted when you make your way down the, the Most Wanted leaderboard. Yeah, I like Need for Speed Most Wanted. There's rumours that the game might get a remake this year. Actually, honestly, I would love to see a remaster or a remake of the 2005 Need for Speed Most Wanted. He has 13 pecs. Ew. Anyway, I would love to see a remaster or a remake of Neither Speed Most Wanted this year. That would be great. There's loads of people that still play this game today, so I think that game definitely deserves a remake. Hell, even Neither Speed Underground 1 and 2 from back from the PS2 days even deserve remakes and remasters, in my opinion. Yeah, the PS2 era, in my opinion, was where the Need for Speed franchise really was at its peak, in my opinion. Who are you calling a pimp? Alright, let's return to Moxie and see what we need to do now. I like broccoli, it don't taste like butt. I mean, if it did taste like butt, I wouldn't eat it. Okay, looks like Moxie has some side missions for us as well. We'll see what they involve as well, actually. Dead or alive. Okay, we'll activate that and we'll turn in this side mission. Time to go for the number two ranking, sugar. I've tracked down the number two ranked fighter, name of Flyboy. Head to the forge and take him down. Alright, I'm on it. Alright. Hello, Hammerlock. I ain't got a skill point, have I? I've got bass tokens either. So, um... What's that other side? What did that other mission involve, actually? The one we just activated. Uh, I can't remember what the name of it was now, actually, but we'll have a look anyway. Everybody wants to be what Southern Race, where, oh, these are the posters on it. I remember this side mission. It's not bad. It's quite a simple side mission, but since I've just been out there, I don't think there's no point going back out there to do this side mission. Yeah, I probably won't bother doing that. If we do head back out the raceway at some, which I don't think we will at this point, I may go back there and do a side mission, but I'm not going to bother doing that right this second. All right, I'm on it. Let's go steal some keys. This sounds like fun, stealing keys from the arena. They're going to have quite a bit of security in this arena, aren't they? But it doesn't matter because we're going to nick the keys right out from under them. Or we could just do it guns blazing. It doesn't matter which way how we do it. All right, I hope the key is not going to take me ages to find.
And the key is on the other side, of course it is. Did he just call me weak? Bitch, I beat Handsome Jack. Does that make me weak now? But to be fair, if I took out, even if I did take out Hashad, that guy's not going to give him monkeys. He's number one on the Torg leaderboard. But we'll show him. Uh oh. I'll take out this gun. I might as well leave that enemy back there. Actually, no, he's coming toward me and so I might as well. Actually, no, I'm just going to finish him off. So I'll chuck a grenade up there. Hope it de detonates before he moves. Didn't even hit him. There we go. We got him. Alright, let's make our way through and steal that key. Go do this guns blazing. I prefer to do things guns blazing anyway. Right, I've got to hope I can take this guy out before my health depletes. There we go. We got him. Get out of here. Ow. What a wanker. There we go. Oh, there's another one. So I need, uh, I could use a rocket launcher to take him out. I've got plenty of rocket launcher to but I'm not going to bother. I'll choose a shotgun to finish him off and wait for this guy to come to me and... <laughs> Alright, let's go. Continue away through here and steal that key. Soon we get that key, the sooner we can make our way into the forge and take out badass number two. I'm going to be the number one on Mr. Talk's badass list. Well, the people in that, that fight in that bar, surely they would all be on the top of Mr. Talk's data board, but I'm not going to question it. It makes my job easier. Okay, I hope the key should just be up ahead now. I should use a shotgun just to blow these guys up. It looks like it sounds like the key is just up ahead, according to Moxie. I hope it. Aha! Yes, it is. Company! Oh, there's a explosive barrel there. I want to get away from there. I could get this would be a good time to get the turret out, but oh, I'm out of ammo. No, go. Let's see him taking out now. I want to take this one out. Come on, out you come. This guy's very on health, so I might as well just finish him off. All right. There's my key. Great. Now you can get into the forge, take down Flyboy, and become the number two badass on the leaderboard. Sounds good to me. Can I jump over that? Yeah, I might try that actually. Might try and see if I'm cool through. Just make things so much quicker to get back to the end to get back to the end. I don't really, I really don't want to go back around that way again. Bound to bump into some of those enemies I left behind back there. Yay! All right, let's now make our way to the forge. So we now got the key. We can now make it easier to get into the forge. Ball hunting noob sauce. I am the future. You ball hunters are old noobs. I'm the new hotness. Don't be jelly, you rook. I'm just gonna K your race so hard you'll beg me to S Y I T F. What do you think, fans? Can the vault hunters' experience prove stronger than Flyboy's youthful arrogance and weird ass slang? Almost certainly. 
but I'll pretend otherwise to maintain dramatic tension. That guy sounds confident. This is going to be fun. Spunky one. He just turned 16, so naturally he thinks he's invincible. You're going to prove otherwise, sugar. He's a spunky one, is he? Fat Moxie just called him a spunky one. He sounds it. All right, let's get to our vehicle and let's make our way to the forge. All right, let's go. Let's go to the forge and let's go take down Spunky. So let's like to get to the forge, I need to go this way. Oh, no, am I stuck? No, maybe not. Oh, I thought I was stuck there for a second. Should have left plenty for me to get through. Okay, we have any enemies up here? Yes, we are. So when we get here, I'm just going to get the turret out and let the turret deal with these Muppets. We'll let the turret deal with those boys and let's go and find Spunky. That's not his real name. He's named Flyboy, but I'm just going to call him Spunky because I think that's a better name for this cocky guy. Call him Spunky. He might even like that name to be fair, but still. I think Spunky's a good name for him. Okay, we're now at the forge. Shall I turn, actually, I think I'll turn the mission next episode and we'll end things off in next episode. We'll end this mission off in next episode and, we'll, and next episode, hopefully, we'll hunt down good old Spunky. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. We'll keep updated with the Born Nancy and Miss Tools campaign, the Carnage episodes, loads to my channel. And next episode, we'll go find Spunky. Hopefully, we can find Spunky and take him down. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. This is Goldie X, and I'm out.